The Australian Consumer Law, also known as the ACL, started on the 1st of January 2011. This law is a national consumer protection and fair trading law. It has replaced several state and territory laws, meaning all Australian consumers and businesses now operate under a single set of marketplace rules. The ACL brings in some major changes for businesses and consumers in Queensland. This video will explore the major parts of the ACL, including how your rights and responsibilities as a consumer or business have changed. Chapters 2 to 6 will explore consumer guarantees, which are a comprehensive set of rights and remedies in relation to faulty goods and services. We'll also discuss the different types of warranties that you may come across as a consumer or business. Chapters 7 to 9 will discuss new provisions that protect consumers from unfair terms in standard contracts and the increased protection consumers receive under the ACL from unfair and unethical business practices. Chapter 10 will briefly touch on new national product safety regime. But first, we need to define exactly what a consumer, supplier and manufacturer are. Under the ACL, you're considered a consumer if you buy goods or services up to the value of $40,000, buy any goods or services that are normally bought for personal, domestic or household use, or buy a vehicle or a trailer. By this definition, there are many instances in which a business would be considered a consumer. There are some exceptions though. If you're buying goods or services for resupply or to use in the manufacture of or repair of something, which you then sell, you are not deemed to be a consumer. For example, a business owner bought a printer cartridge. They would be considered a consumer. If a business owner bought some glue and used it in the construction of a piece of wooden furniture and then sold the furniture, they would not be considered a consumer. The difference in these two examples is that the glue was used to manufacture of something while the printer cartridge was simply used. A supplier is anyone, including a trader, retailer or service provider who provides goods or services to a consumer. A manufacturer is a person or business who makes or puts together or even has their name on goods. An importer is considered to be a manufacturer if the manufacturer doesn't have an office in Australia. The difference between a supplier and a manufacturer is an important distinction to remember because suppliers and manufacturers are responsible for different consumer guarantees. Another definition to be aware of throughout the video is the term reasonable. I might refer to using a product in a reasonable manner, or that a product should last a reasonable amount of time. What exactly is reasonable? It really depends on the circumstances, the goods, the services, and every individual thing that happened in those circumstances. It can only really be determined by a court. You can apply a common sense approach though. So for example, it might be reasonable to expect that a $2,000 watch lasts longer than 18 months. But if you bought a watch that was only $5, you might expect it to only last a few months.